Okay, I decided I had a little time this morning to play a bit. It's early morning again, so there's not a lot of people on. I'm trying to think of what, what we did last time. Um, I know a couple episodes went to Guster. I think we went to Deceit and some other stuff. I'm not I'm not hundred percent sure. I know that I need some components. Rags. I'm gonna see if I can buy some chests or something for my house just to I'm not sure if I can get those from regular vendors. Pearl. No. Check the big shop. Let's check Papua. There we go. more black pearl and nightshade. They've got a lot of nightshade. That gives us at least a hundred. Hmm. There was a bounty for a guy named Zack up there. See what the carpenter and whatnot is as far as items for a house. Check the provision or two, but I think they really only have containers. Books, deeds, and yeah, no, that's. I swear there is some NPC that would sell at least a table or something, you'd think, but I guess that's all player vendor. So I guess this is that crossroads where we kind of have to decide. I mean, there's just some things that I cannot get without player vendors. I mean, I could use some of these wooden boxes. At least there's that. Oh. oh Noble's just kind of hanging around town doing nothing. Sure, well, I've gotten them. Let's see if we can. There we go. Not facing that way. So you can't walk over these. I was talking before about blocking recall spots. That's the kind of item you would use to do that. Let's 
these are just clothes. No clothes in here. These are scrolls. And that's really about it as far as what I needed to do at the house, because there's not a lot I needed to do here. Mainly I wanted to take those 30, 40 items out of my bank, clear up some space. It's not looking good as far as, you know, skill gains. No majory coming whatsoever. You know, I could try a 4th circle, I'm sorry, 7th circle spell, but I think I'm so far away from getting gains on that. So far. Did I ever identify this spell? No. see what it is. Guarding. Guarding. It seems okay. I think hardening is GM level. So I guess let's sell it. There's a silver stack. That's okay. I didn't realize these could be silver, but I guess they are weapons. Okay. Sell this stuff. So I've got almost twenty thousand a house, a boat. Not doing bad. I think I will try casting seventh circle. I'm absolutely positive I won't gain anything from it. So let's let's do it. I think I need about three or four more points before I will gain on a fizzle. Yeah, I think so. So about three or four more points, and I can try to mess around with that, but I guess I'm just kind of fussy with the slow games. You know, I think last time we went to Shame is what we did. We went down to the, the, the air elementals and places like that. I'm pretty sure. And to the blood elemental, which I poisoned to death, basically. I think that was last time. Cut up these bandages, and then maybe, I don't know, head to Shane, try to get my macing up a little bit more. Almost GM, I mean 91, I guess it's not almost GM, but you know, get, get in there. I'm gonna cast a bunch of energy bolts down there. Six more to go. Where else would I go? I could go to wrong, but I think that that won't be that great for me. I'll just look at delay. I guess let's check it out. Right away, Scorpion. myself to get poisoned to death. Okay, cool. 
guy just thought of me, man. What is going on with that? I'd like to do some more treasure maps. But I think the only maps I have are level 3. I don't think I could unlock those chests. I'm not even sure that the magic unlock spell works on level 2 chests, much less level 3 chests. Bandages. Right. Might go down to the airs too. up some yeah I mean 90, 92 macing it's getting there I mean how long can it really be before GM yeah it slows down significantly but we're still getting gains you know up to a point every episode, up to two points, even at this level. Tactics is going to be a lot harder, a lot slower. Yeah, you know what? Let's go check out Wrong. Best way to get there, maybe, is going to be to go to the Minoc Vesco Gate. So this is where I'm going to be. Let's see. And I think we would just kind of go west, westish, until we hit the water, follow the water around, go north of Covetus. Actually, you probably would have been closer, but this will be all right. This will get us a new rune and just take us somewhere different. Shame is fine. Shame is good, in fact, but I've just been there a lot.
I'm gonna try to stay up here because wherever it's at, it's like at the northern section of the map. I should know it when I see it, but no guarantees. So that's not gonna be it, I don't, I don't think. No. Go around all this water. Let's drop an energy bolt on this bear. But yeah, it's up in the northern reaches. It's probably the northernmost dungeon unless you count Deceit, which is on its own island. Castle. So it could be out this way. It's this general direction, that's all I know for sure. No, I don't. Nope. Could be up there. So, well, I know the area looks kind of like this, but I don't think this is it, but let's check. Maybe we'll find something interesting as well, looking around like this. some creatures on the way. Not a single gain of major yet. A little disappointing. I mean, we should still be gaining pretty good at 61 base. But it's really slowed down. I've struggled to get 1.0. Probably should have gotten a new quarter staff too. Maybe I will once I get there. I can mark a rune, hop out, get the quarter staff. Honestly, if I see any air elementals, I should defeat those too because 400 gold, nothing to shake a stick at. At least I'm still getting meditation. Yeah, it's like center north of the Britannia landmass. Yeah, you definitely would have been faster. Gargoyle. Yeah, I think I think we're getting close. It's in a mountain range, kind of like this. There's an air elemental. poison on him.
15 seconds, come on. Could be a trick or treat thing happening near Halloween, where you can go to player houses and try to trick or treat them. I guess I can't remember if I participated this in this in the past years or not. I don't remember. This is it. Yeah, because there's like a small section inside the mountains where the dungeon proper is. Red healer. Let's mark the room way out here. a bunch of junk up here on the first level. One of these takes you down to the second level. This is for the lords, of, the overlords. A lot of trolls, or maybe just Ed and ogres down here actually. I don't know if there are any trolls. Ettons, lots of Ettons. Lots of ogres. It's more of like a blade spirit rim. For sure. And we can definitely kill overlords with blade spirits. It's just somewhat slow. I really want to cast another Blade Spirit, but I'm out of mana. I want to keep it up for a recall. It's the usual. Maybe I don't need any quarter staff. I'm gonna be able to cast blades first with these guys after me constantly though. One or two is fine. Overlord.
This is a good area for a bar to go for type thing. Is that the Lord? Yeah, that's the Lord. I don't think poison works on the Lord. Pretty confident it doesn't. It also hurt a lot. But they could drop pretty good magic items. Blade Spirit. Oh, there it goes. Okay, it's not gone. Get the ogre. So I'm getting attacked. Potion, I'll take it. Blade spirit, see if I can't get them poisoned or attacking. Got it on the Overlord. And then it disappeared, of course. But it's kind of tough down here. Just a lot of spawn. If I was a provoker, this would be a great place to be. You know, you can provoke all these Eddins and Ogres on the Lord, and the Lord will destroy it. I mean, quickly. Passageway and throw the Overlord down here. The red potion. Can't go wrong. Let's go ahead and drink one. It's pretty, pretty good. Man. Kind of risky, hoping he's slow enough to not get to me. I'll cast this insanely long spell. Take out the button. Keep using eval, anatomy, whatever. I need to check some of these corpses too. I'm sure that I haven't looted all of them. So I'm overlord. If we can gonna want to cast multiple blade spirits. Overlord oh, must have looted it. Maybe if we get multiple blade spirits on it we can also attack it for some skill gains. I'm not a hundred percent sure. As long as he doesn't turn around and slap us. Let's see what happens. 
seems to be working. That way, once this one decays, we'll know to cast another one. If we don't defeat him back, maybe we won't. Drop an occasional EB. Just to keep our casts going. And still not a single major regain. Not sure how to feel about that. I know how to feel about it. It's not good. School gain as a whole is kind of slowing down. Didn't need that guy. Yeah, it's slow money here, but it's just something different. Oh, he turned to me. Oh. Probably will need one more Blade Spirit to defeat him. And we could lure it up here to get attacked by the Blade Spirits and get poisoned. Let's see, that was just in time. The other one just disappeared. Come on. There we go. Oh, he's still coming. At this point, I'd like to just defeat that Overlord, so... Instead of attacking him with the Sporter Staff, I'm going to go cast another Blade Spirit, hopefully. Now we can fight the Ed. It's on the run. Hopefully those Ogres will attack the Blade Spirit. None of them will. Poisoned at least. on me. Come on, get on that plate spirit. stuck on those stairs. Come on, man. Where's the Blade Spirit? Where'd the Blade Spirit go? Didn't I just cast it? I know I did. Oh, there it is. Okay. Nothing really to write home about. Still healing. Uh, 
don't know if it's one or two overlords that spawn in that room. Either two or that one's already respawned. I would like to get them all back out here, and that's where the, the fighting happens, but... For now... Let's check it back up. I think I've looked all these corpses, maybe I'll check. Got the Lord. Let's see if we can drag that guy onto it. It's poison. He doesn't want to fight it though. Oh wow, look at all this stuff. I am healing, right? into it and hope they take the bait. Got poisoned at least. That's half the battle. Is this got poison? Yeah, they're all poisoned at least, even if they're not fighting it. Things gonna disappear soon enough. So energy vortex will be a lot stronger here. None of them are engaging that blade spirit. They do not care. Too many guys. I wonder if I could fire field. Let's let's try that. Let's drop the blade spirit. Let's set a last target. Uh, right there. Let's see. Hopefully, it doesn't go the wrong way. I think it went the wrong. No, it went the right way. Do any damage to these guys? Doesn't look like it does all that much damage. I guess it kind of does. I think it'd be better if there was only one or two and they just kept walking through it, but it's an option. Too close for comfort. The Overlord's at least attacking it. And here's a damn Etten.
type this guy. It's a brand new one. That one's halfway. That one's almost dead. Time we beat this, should be able to cast Blade Spirits with enough for a recall left, maybe. Starting to get some gains, facing. Slower than Earth Elementals, it feels like. It's not awful, I mean, it's got 2,500 gold. It's not bad. It's not amazing. smaller stuff. I guess more blade spirits is really the answer. It'd be nice if I could get two or three going at any given time. I wish I could cast it here and it would attack them, but I know it won't. Oh, that might work. That kind of works. You can kind of peek around the corner and cast it on the stairs. Should be able to take out this head and then that that ogre. Kill this one more ogre, you know. Get out of here with four or five k, maybe. Blade spirit. I'm on the Kate already. Fresh head and coming. See if I can take him out. Probably not. Well, maybe him. See if we can drop more around the corner like we were doing. There's a lot of guys back there now. Yeah, with 
my mana generation, and by the time I can have, try to get three out, I mean, with, without full mana, it seems like the other one's already dead. Uh, that one. Pipe here. Is that where I'll be going soon? There it went. So this kind of works, this strategy here. It's not ideal because it's difficult to get out there and loot any of the guys. I guess, in theory, eventually they'll all be defeated, and you would be able to go out there and get the loot. Yeah, I guess I'll end up with like 3,500 if I get all the corpses here. I think I'll need one more blade script to take these guys out. Setting down. Did the Overlord die? No, what's going on? Why did that happen? Maybe they were on a regular ogre. That's gotta be what it was. Drink the white. Get looted. I think best bet is to try to. Oh, I can't. I don't want to run away. I wanted to get back over there. Fresh over. He went right by it. If they were poisonable, I wouldn't be so worried about it, but it's, it's very likely this guy survives that blade spirit. So I need like an energy bolt to finish him off. Now yep, here he comes. At least he's coming this way before we can run off into the room. That one's almost dead from earlier. That one's almost dead. Let's see if I can get the Overlord. Too far away. Shoot. There's a gain at least. Dangerous. Probably. There it works. 
Oh, there's the other. guy's almost defeated too. Might just try to finish these three guys off manually. That way I don't learn more stuff from way over there. I do think I need a new quarter staff. story behind that creature. Um, a Jay Wilson is some kind of, he was a writer for some magazine or website, and I believe he gave UO a bad rating or something, and they added these slimes that sometimes spawn with his initial J. Wilson. But that's the story behind that. Kind of interesting. But otherwise, they're just a regular slime. Nothing special. See if I can get this one that's almost dead. I don't know where he's at, but oh, I think otherwise I got all the corpses. Let's double check these two. Yeah, I did. So in the end, I got like. A little bit more than I thought, 4,200 gold. And I got a rune to wrong, so that's, uh, that's working out. But, so, yeah. So, I want to get, I want to go get a bag or something to put my runes in. I really should just get a rune book. I mean can't get it any other way than from a player vendor. So I might as well do that. Root, silk. Think this guy has respawned yet. Nope. So let's go get a bag something to put our stuff in. Our rooms. Um, I guess a backpack. You know what, let's get one more backpack. Then I want to get a dye tub. Can't remember if I bought one already or not. I think I did. Oh well, we've got two now. Let's see if this guy wants to go anywhere. Of course not. Another random noble wandering around town doesn't want to go anywhere. This is just weird that there's so many of those. What about you? Okay, so after some components, I still need a little bit, so let's put in... VK, we're back over 20. Right, for my room bag, I'll mark that blue like my cloth. Then on the top, I'm gonna put cities. Request. Intrinsic. Room blue, I'd rather be on the left. I can put our four dungeons here. I want shame to be first, deceit to be second. And 
this is Destard. Let's put that there, and then we'll put Wrong right before it. Now on the second level up, we can have different runes. So this is how I used to organize it. So I would have Shame, and then I would have... Let's see if I've got enough Shame Blood Elementals. I would have that above Shame, like a vertical line. So this is U Liches. We're going to put that here because it would be under U. We don't have a U rune. Eventually we will. So I Deceit, and then we've got Deceit Liches. So if we had something for Wrong, it would be above there. We don't really need it because Wrong is such a short, quick dungeon. Put this other die tub in there. I'll hold on to this for now. Uh, let's see, bandages. Need about 15. Yeah, but that's how runes used to be stored. Just like that. I mean, that's how I imagine other people do it too, but that's how I did it. I had a whole bag of runes. I'm pretty sure banks did not originally have the item limit of 1.5. I don't think they did. I don't think there was any limit on banks way back when. I could be wrong. Maybe it was a weight limit. I don't know. I don't remember there being any limit on a bank early on. But as with all things, it's been so long that it's hard to remember the details. Okay, he's got stuff again. So let's get his root, his shade, his pearl. Rest I'm good on. Let's check over here and see if this alchemist has restocked yet. It should have. Unless I didn't buy from that guy. But there we go. So we'll get his root, his shade, his pearl. Could use. Oh, well, I'm good. So we did eventually get point one major. Pretty pathetic. Gold in there, so 21,500 right now. I also wanted to have another reg bag, basically. So this would be, what's this? That's my go bag, I'm gonna put it right here. And this is gonna be my spare component bag. If I get too many regs of a certain type, put the excess in here. Like, I don't need that many sulfur ash, I don't even need that. Not right now, so I'm gonna start collecting those in here. So anything over a certain threshold, I'll put in there. I'm carrying around a lot of stuff I don't need. That's my regular set. I don't know what this is. Is this a better set than what I'm wearing? If it is, I'll just switch it out and throw away the old one. Looks like some pieces are, but others not. So let's just get rid of that. Let's just extra weight. It's not happening. It's not happening, guys. Major games are not in the cards today. A little bit. But, at least this time around we did get a new rune. Um, let's see. We had the best gaining skill was Macing and Tactics at both at 0 0.8. Meditation gain 0 0.7. Eval 0 0.4. Resist 0 0.2. Wrestling 0 0.2 and Majory 0.2. I'm at 539 skill points, so I'm still almost 200 away from the skill cap before I have to start worrying about that or thinking it through actively. But overall, not awful. I mean, definitely on the lower side of skill gain, but with macing and tactics being so high now, I'm, it's going to start diminishing greatly as far as what I get on a given outing. Oh, you know what? I need to get rid of that too. Let me go buy a new porter staff before I forget. Do you need to go anywhere? So weird.
don't want to forget and leave town with a bad quarter staff again. Which I'm not even sure that one was, but surely it was by the end of it. And I do have enough money to go. to go buy rim books. I'm just not sure I'm going to. I want to test this silver weapon out real quick before I log it. Let's just go to the Eulich's to be relatively safe. Let's just see how it does compared to my silver mace. Kind of interested. Has a tactics bonus, so it does a little extra damage. Looks like it's about the same as the mace. Well, yeah, about the same as the mace, about the same speed. So probably often I wouldn't even pick up these uh, gnarled staffs, but that's definitely a good reason to pick up the gnarled staff. If it could be silver, which I guess it can. Why not? I tend to think it's a more of like a magic wand type item, but... I guess, in reality, they are a weapon, just not a great one. What's this? Pick up the house eventually. Okay, well, like I said, not as fruitful of an episode as I would have liked, but we still gained skills, we still went somewhere new, we expanded our library of rooms, there's little major games sneaking in at the end. Yeah, we can look out, cast it two more times, and get a gain or two off of it, bring it up to half a point, that would be delightful. Come on. Just for whatever reason, when we log in, we always have full mana, so we might as well exhaust it completely before logging out. There we go, point four. So, I mean, still ended up with getting half a point in Majory. Five extra things. And that puts us at 65.3 and 62.1 base, so making some progress. Either way, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time on episode 23 of the Let's Play UOSA. No off-screen skill gain, no off-screen macroing, no razor macros, playthrough. Like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff that the algorithm loves, and uh, we'll see you next time.